Hello from YouTube, it's Alex here, back with some more Subnautica. Apologies for the third time of being a day out of my schedule. The last, the last week has been a bit hectic, whether it be various things like driving tests and migraines, which, yes, yesterday I had another freaking migraine. Yes, I suffer from them, if you couldn't tell. And, of course, it pretty much knocked me for six, and I was... Uh, almost to the point of throwing up with the pain. So let's just um, ignore that for now, and we are here with Subnautica once again with the Brineful base. One that someone I think had suggested to me uh, in a previous uh, Subnautica video, and this base actually does have a purpose, because that's the thing. Like, most of my bases don't... I mean, they're just an interesting location for them, but uh, the base itself does not serve any other purpose other than just a interesting place to live. Uh, but I'll get into that shortly, but as you can sort of see, we are in the Brian Falls. The precursor base is over there, the derelict research facility, if you're wondering where we are exactly. And I did have a few other locations for this base, but I put it down here uh, for now, and plus there is actually quite convenient power source here with some of the uh, thermal vents over there, so that's quite nice. Um, and yes, the majority of the base is just sort of sat here uh, with some of the brine falls, so yeah, I don't know, it looks interesting, but anyway, the purpose of this base is, well, when you think about it, unless you are going to be using cy a cyclops, which is debatable, you're going to be travelling around most of, the, most of the time in your Seamoth. Now, the thing is, the Seamoth, even maxed out, will only go down to 900 metres, and as you can see, we're roughly about 800-ish, the, the bottom of the base is like 850, I think, but you're quite far down here. Now, unless, like I said, unless you're going to be building a Cyclops, which I, I mean, I don't do much survival, but it's debatable whether you'd actually, or I would build one uh, and, like, carry your something else in here, but this base is basically like a switchover point. Like, you would come down here, you'd, I mean, anything this sort of depth or from this base and above, uh, you would use your seam off, which makes sense. Uh, but anything lower than this point, you have the prawn suit. So the idea is, this is basically a, a, an exchange point where you would um, change over your vehicle. So you put your seam off here, and then you take your, your uh, prawn suit down and do any further exploring or whatever the hell you're doing. So, like I said, it's basically an exchange point base. Uh, but without further ado, let's actually get into the inside. But even though the inside is, uh, eh, they're all they're all very similar. My bases as uh, there's only there's only so much you can do in this game. But you know, it was more of the location. But uh, so we have we have two of the moon pools, as you probably could have guessed. Uh, similar things in here. There's the modification and power cell charging and batteries. The exact same thing over here. So this is where you would get your charging. But there you go. And there is an observatory up here, so you can look out and uh, admire the interesting view. Popping down a level, uh, we're now in the main sort of portion of the base where the brine fall is. You know what I should have done? I should have put more windows so you could actually see the brine. Um, but the central room here is your fabrication and storage. I put a lot more um, storage containers here because, I mean, I don't do much survival. I might do a... I mean, I don't know. I might be tempted to do, like, a, a proper Let's Play when the game is fully released. But as it currently stands right now, I'll just put some more base designs. Um, there is actually another base design I'll be in the works, which I'll be doing soon. Uh, which is going to be some kind of like observatory outpost by one of the uh, derelict um, bases from the De uh, was it the Degassi survivors? One of those bases. Um, I'm actually I think I might be doing the one by the lo um, by the Grand Reef up there. So something like that. I don't know. I need, I need to scout the area and, and take a look. But yeah, in here scanning room. As that's obvious enough. Um, med kits are in a weird spot. I literally just shoved a med kit generator in here. That's pretty much it. Uh, which way do we want to go? Let's go this way firstly. So over here is the greenhouse. Need I say any more? I only put a singular planter in here, but that's because I have been I've been so late for quite a lot of my videos. Uh, I just wanted to get this base built and a video recorded, and mainly just to explain myself when what what's been going on, why have I not been recording? But you have to take into account, everybody. This like YouTube is fun for me. But it's not my job. I certainly don't get enough from YouTube money-wise uh, to re to really have this as my job. And it's not. I don't really want it to be my job because that requires effort. And when things require effort, it's not fun. And it you know becomes your job and everything. So you know that's just my explanation here. So you can actually see some of the Brian Falls here. 
does look interesting. The one thing that's a bit annoying, you couldn't actually have like you know before I'm not sure which update this was in if you put if you try to build a bit of your base underground it would like automatically terraform the area uh, that's no longer a thing so I've had to do some manual terraforming to try and sort of embed it ever so slightly um, you know, into the walls here but uh, yeah bedroom pretty self-explanatory uh, now these corridors here don't go anywhere they just embed themselves into the rocks so hence why the ladders are here that's more to block off the corridors uh, than anything else so uh, uh, apologies for the belching I am having a beer some people say too much alcohol probably causes migraines maybe it does but I don't know my migraines are a bit infrequent um, anyway here is the simple mess hall Se seating one although you could fit another seat here or a few more around here uh, you got the vending machine, which definitely actually has a new texture. I didn't actually have a look at that. And of course, you can actually um, spam vending machine and get stuff. It doesn't actually look like these give you any kind of food or anything, so a bit of a shame there. And aquarium, preparation area, water. That's it. And up here would be your simple aquarium for breeding fish. Um, I would presume breeding fish for food purposes. I mean, what else do you breed fish for? Unless you're trying to I don't know, collect every single fish or something. I did do that before, it was like a really old series on the channel which uh, didn't get much popularity, which was, I think it was the quest for everything, where I tried to collect every, like, creature in the game, so that was that. Um, down here is a simple enough uh, brine research area, or just like a brine watch. I mean, I've done a couple of these before, uh, but just a simple room inside the brine. So hence why everything is green, a few workstation areas and bits and bobs and that's it. So there you have it. So that's pretty much the base. It's not too elaborate, but I mean, like I said, there's not that much you can do with bases and the only thing that keeps the only, the only thing that really keeps me going and keeps me building so many of these bases, well there's actually two reasons. One, I still do seem to get quite a few views and I have quite a few people who actually don't mind watching these videos, so I'll keep doing it for as long as I can reasonably think of bases. And also, there are some interesting locations in this game, which building a base around them does kind of in look interesting. And you never know, if, if I do do a survival uh, in this game, once like you know once the whole game is uh, f f finished and released, um, you never know, I might actually take one of my old designs from one of my previous videos and uh, use it in the survival. I probably will, actually. I'll probably have a few of my sea sheds, as you remember those. Um, so there you have it. There's no need to drag on this any further. Uh, thank you all for watching. Sorry for all the delays in the videos. I'll try and get back to normal to normality, but we'll have to wait and see. Real, uh, I'm afraid, as much as I hate it, uh, real life things do get in the way, and you, you know how life goes. Life is a pain in the ass, but I'm afraid we all have to live in it. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.